Alright guys, it's early, uh, well, spring, just into October, and uh, a nice Saturday afternoon, low tide, 1.30, looking for some bronze bream, they are around, there's some muscle cracker around as well, but we just brought some bronze bream stuff, and this is how you want stabel. See, it's nice and flat, low tide, just over 600 centimeter swell, high tide, 1.4 meters, now it's really, really nice to fish this spot. Uh, midday now, uh, we just, it's about half past 12, 20 to 1. Low tide is half past 1. And then for that push, we'll uh, hopefully find some bronze bream here. If we don't, we'll move down to the aloes or big fishermen's and go have a look there. But we do need to get some bronze bream. I've got Andre, one of my actual school friends from way back, visiting. So, but, you know, these Joburg oaks at least need to feel a fish. So we must make sure we get some uh, bronze bream today. Hey guys, bringing out my Saltiga 5000. Lovely all-round reel. Can handle fish up to 100 kilos, no problem. But also nice for this type of fishing, the scratching. And I'm fishing 90, or 80 pound leader break and that I'll tie onto a mono, one meter mono leader, 0.55 for the bronze reef. And that's all paid up on my 12 foot 6 power spin, the Dawa Saltist. And uh, I've got a 30 pound J braid as my main line. About a two, 2.4 kilos. Nice size. Well done. Well done. Okay. Normal at Can Marine, the box is head on prawn. So what we use for the copper bream or bronze bream. You turn it inside out and you put more cotton to the top here than to the bottom. So that's it. I actually did that one a bit fast. The hook's still nice and proud. And this is nice and soft. Then I'm using a chino number two. The Kingfisher 10 mil floats. I'm using a 0.44 Siglon for my hook snoot and a 0.42 for my sinker. Where we 
fish with a bronze bream of the Roxia with a deeper water, it's right on the edge. Sometimes you fish it with a pushing tide that you can see your bait when the water pulls back. Because they're after this green grass, they're herbivores. So they actually eat grass. That's their main diet. Same as you'll see your, your carotene and even blacktail eat this grass. So wherever you find nice working water with a gully or a nice deeper section close to it where there's a lot of grass, it's a good area to target them. The thing with bronze bream is they, it's actually quite a bit of a technical fish to target. Um, you'll get used to catching them as with any species, that, that I may say. But uh, they, w they move in small shoals and unless you're right there where they feed, you won't catch them or you won't get a bite. So if you start getting a bite, go to the same spot. Another very important thing as you guys would see is we put it in the pool in the back here. Because bronze bream works like that, if you had to release it here now, it will chase the whole shoal away, even if you lose one. So, they seem to have moved away now. I don't know if someone, I missed one, so maybe, maybe I'd spook them. But we're hoping another shoal comes into this now. Quickly, I know I got that one. I think I missed two fish. I can't say for sure they were bronze beef. And uh, but not bad. At least got a fish. He's here only for two days, so we came out today. And tomorrow morning, we'll go look for some brusher with one of our members. Uh, so yeah, I've got a nice spot here on the right of Stabel, on the left of Stabel. Get some bronze beef. Just have to put in the time and use fresh cat can prawn. But I'll give it another five minutes and then I think we're going to pack it up. It looks like rain coming. After a quick session, we at least got one and missed a couple. Still a good day out fishing. The main objective was also to get some monster man crabs for tomorrow morning. When we joined one of our members looking for some brusher as well as bronze bream at Hinton 20. So make sure you tune in by hitting that little notification button after you subscribed. That will give you a notification as soon as we upload any video.